Okay, what was my research about? What I want to say, just to start, uh, my research is about hydrogen. It's about renewable energies, okay? The, um, how are we gonna produce this hydrogen? There are different ways to, produ to produce hydrogen, to generate hydrogen. Uh, our lit 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 review, literature review, um, say, well, we concluded after doing our, our lit my literature review is that uh, the best way to do it is uh, by water electrolysis, okay? So what is water electrolysis? Water electrolysis is very simple. You just, you have a, a you know, some water and then you just apply current through it. You are going to have a cathode and you're going to have an anode and you're going to have hydrogen from the cathode and you're going to have oxygen from the anode. I have a very simple uh, here. This is a very simple. This is an electro electrolyzer. Uh, this is a model electrolyzer. Here you can see you have two terminals. You have a red terminal and a black terminal. The uh, black terminal is the negative. Right here is written, and then you have uh, the positive one, which is the red one. Um, and then uh, on here, you can see as well that um, the uh, you're, you're you're producing hydrogen here, H H two and O two on the other on the other how to say chamber of the uh, this electrolyzer. This electrolyzer is is going to have the cathode in the anode, and you're going to you, these tubes that you have here, these tubes that you have here, these two tubes, this here and this other one. It's just where hydrogen and oxygen are going to be released. And then why, 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 why do we bother about producing hydrogen? Well, we, we bother producing hydrogen because this is another cell. You can see this, this cell is very similar to this other one, okay? But this cell is not an electrolyzer. This cell is a fuel cell. So you can see fuel cell here, you see FC. And again, we have the two terminals. We have a, a positive terminal and a, ne and a negative terminal. And uh, this fuel cell operates differently because this cell you're gonna you're gonna uh, the hydrogen we produce from the electrolyzer from the other cell that I, I just showed you is going to be used as the as the feed for this uh, fuel cell. You just need oxygen or air on the other terminal, which is already available. It's in the, from the air in the environment in the environment, you know. And the, uh, and the hydrogen from that we produce is going to be inputted here, and you're going to produce a current. This current can uh, produce uh, will produce electricity, obviously, and then this 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 electricity is going to be used to to power an electric vehicle, for example, a fuel cell vehicle. This is an example of a fuel cell vehicle model size, and then. Uh, this one that I'm showing is very similar. This one is just that uh, it just is run with by, by by a battery, and then you have the engine here that moves the uh, the uh, makes the uh, the wheel to rotate to spin, and then you you get the uh, emotion in the uh, of the of the this model vehicle, okay, model size vehicle, and uh, and it's here what we want is just to to install a, a fuel cell right here. So we have the, we have the fuel cell here, and then we're gonna power the the car, the the, the engine that the car has. It has you can you, if you can see it through, you're gonna through the glass. You're gonna see this here is an is an engine, and here you have the and the source of electricity. You see the two cables and the uh, the um, motor that is gonna move this wheel. Okay. All right. So that's that's pretty much very very simple explanation about why we are doing this and then uh, what we what we have decided we we um, decided to improve the um, in the electrolyzer you have uh, the anode the positive the positive terminal which is the um, anode and you have the negative terminal which is the cathode and you you want to make this reaction to be um, this in, in the reaction to happen to split water you require energy Sometimes, normally, we um, the, what is the, lit, the literature review tell us that is the best way to do it just is with that by solar energy. And then what we um, what we after, are trying to do what is the main uh, idea of this research is just to make the uh, ca the cathode and the anode 
these materials that are inside the chamber to, to split water that are in co contact with water just to make them be earth abundant we want them also be uh, inert in the reaction environment we don't want them to you know react with the water we just want them to be a catalyst you know they have to be inert and um, and they, ha they have to be obviously be energy efficient they have to consume energy the, the minimum to to make the reaction happen and that's what the our uh, how to say our constraints to for to, to make this um these uh, electrodes the cathode and the anode and then uh, what uh, what 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 how we what was the uh, the uh, the the um how to say the uh, the way to achieve this how what was the methodology methodology we well, we decided to make these these electrodes by electro deposition and um and and the uh, materials that we use the raw materials or the to start these uh, electrodes we we start we used a nickel we used cobalt and we used uh, manganese and then um, manganese dioxide and um, the way we improve these uh, materials we make them more energy um, efficient was by increasing the area of contact of the uh, of the um, of the electrode or catalyst with the uh, solution how we did this we make for example for the we can for the cobalt and the and the, and the nickel we increase the pore size we we make well we we make the material to be very to have a big area of contact with the solution as as a make um, as we, we use it as a powder and we in this powder is very small has uh, we were able to like make very small size pores in this in this material so they had a big area of contact with the uh, solution uh, regarding the manganese dioxide for the manganese dioxide was a different technique we we use uh, we improve we enhance the uh, efficiency of this material by introducing dopants we we use a uh, good combination that um, in, increased improved the efficiency of the uh, material was um, um, the use of uh, the addition of cobalt and molybdenum into the mat matrix of the uh, manganese dioxide that combination and um, with that combination gave very good results and we made a publication in in, in one journal that is that belongs to nature and um, this this approach was um, was really good because um, Sorry, yes, this, this white background is really hard. And then uh, it was re this. It, it was great because um, what we what we try to achieve is just that um, uh, an, um, is we use an old concept, which is a the volcano plot, and we just started to we 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 combine two material of uh, high high uh, energy uh, bond strength and, and, and low and, and low bond strength within reaction intermediates to be able to make an intermediate uh, bond strength like um, like the platinum group and then uh, this and that's how we managed to improve the efficiency of manganese dioxide and that's pretty much what was our uh, what was my result research all about that that is why and the results and the achievements um, yeah